Hello everyone! How you all doing? This is truly the smart GT speaking here, and welcome to this Empire Total War Let's Play of Westphalia. I don't know if I'm butchering that name or not, but you just have to bear with me on that. Now, I mentioned in my return video that I wanted to play as a minor German state, so you might be asking yourself, why this one in particular? There are a few reasons why I want to play as these guys. The, f the first one is, playing as a nation that usually get knocked out very early, it seems very intriguing to me, is that what can I do to make that I don't share the same fate like the AI does? I mean, just look at Saxony, they always get knocked out at the first turn when it comes to Westphalia. Most of the time, they get knocked out after turn 3 or 6. And this is why it's so intriguing me to actually try and play these guys and see if we can make it big. So we're going to be playing World Domination, Hard Campaign and Very Hard Battle Difficulty. And when I've said, uh, let's just jump into the game and see what we have to work with. And here we are in the wonderful land of Rhineland. So, the one thing that we need to work on is to try to get our military up. Because our starting army is not that great. We have a pikeman, a militia, and a general which traits are not that really helpful. However, the region that we start in is actually not too bad. We have two industry buildings, a mine, not to mention a freaking college. We start with a freaking college. And I see that as a very good way of actually getting our economy up. What I've been noticing when I've been playing as these guys is economy is going to be an important thing when you're playing as a minor nation because you don't have the economy advantages that a major nation would do. Such as Great Britain and all the trading and colonies. It's not easy to start as a minor nation, but I feel like we can actually turn the ties on that. Besides that, I've come to notice Every time I play these guys, the Dutch always declare war on us after turn 1. And that's one of the reasons why we need to get the military up. But I have a way to try to overcome when they're trying to attack us. I'll come to that strat later. But I do want to give a fair warning that it's uh, relatively stupid, not to mention uh, scientifically retarded. But if it works, it works. And I'm gonna set the lower classes tax to low. Because I tend to notice when you keep researching Enlightenment Technologies and you stop at a college, uh, the peeps tend to get a bit pissy. And now look at the ministers. Just look at this sorry excuse for ministers. I mean, what is this? Hey. You like tactical stuff, why don't you just go with the tactical stuff and look at you, you like boats, you guys should have switched like a long time ago. What about you, you like tactical stuff? Too bad, we have a guy better than you, you don't even have anything, get out of here. Industrial Revolutionary, perfect. Now let me see, who can make a first lord? Oh well, what's that, hard reputation, go in there. Let me see, you made the lord classes happy and boom. That is much better in my book. And the government's going down with one. Now, after this turn has ended, we need to find a way to deal with the Dutch. And I have a perfect way of doing it. First off, I'm gonna try to sabotage their school. Or you can just stand there. Oh, I, I guess I can't. I can't do it on the first turn. But whatever, we can figure it out as the way goes. But for now, I think uh, two line infantry. Maybe one missile cavalry should do. And let's see what's gonna happen after the turn ends. I don't think I have very high... Oh, hello there, France. A trade agreement? No, you're too kind. Why not, Frenchie? But yeah, now that the Dutch are gonna declare, declare war on us, our allies are not gonna help us. I've been playing every time. Everybody just leaves me. Like, nobody's gonna defend... Wuttenberg? Really now? Most of the time you just leave me, but you want to prove these people's wrong, huh? Okay. But I don't really think how much health Wuttenberg can actually provide for us, because 
France is gonna harass them the most. But, eh, we'll see what happens. Yeah, alright. Let's see. Can you please try and sabotage or maybe assassinate? 21%. No, thank you for that. Blow it up. Well, that's not a good start now, is it? Uh, okay then. Uh, we can fix that. There's no need to worry about that. But yeah, we don't have very much that we can do right now. Um, I wonder. Hey, Austria, you want to be friends again? Please don't leave me hanging like this, alright? I can't be their friend. Oh, really? You allied yourself with the Dutch? Traitors. I thought you were my friend and all. Hey, uh, Hanover, you know that one time when you didn't want to be my friend and protect me? Can you be my friend again? Thank you. Alright, hopefully I hope that Hanover is not going to leave me like they did that time. But yeah, the thing that always happened, that they sent this army over here and... Uh, we don't have much to go- where the heck did this militia come from? Where the heck did the pikemen go? Okay, freaking bugs I guess. But yeah, they always send this army over here. And most of the times, I can't win the battle with just the citizen protection or whatever the heck you wanna call these things here. But I have a plan to actually uh, get away with that. We just have to wait till this turn here. And just watch as they're just gonna move in. And why the heck is France moving all the troops up here? I swear to God if they're gonna attack us as well. And yeah, look at that. They're already moving up. Alright. I guess it's time to reveal the strat that I've been talking about. Just a reminder. This may or may not be a very serious playthrough. So if you've been looking for a very serious playthrough. I'm sorry, but we don't do that here. It's all about uh, shenanigans, funny stuff, and not to mention idiocy. And look at that, I got another rake, perfect. Now your first thing is to not die. Hey, can you try and do that? Uh, you got detected, but it's not something. Right, so what I like to do is to get this army the heck out of here. And a way to do that... Just recruit a bunch of freaking generals bodyguards. I don't know about you, but um, I feel like that's a very solid strat. Because we are not gonna win a battle if they're assaulting us. So I feel like this is the best way of actually dealing with them. And just because we have a ton of cavalry, this should be easy. Hopefully. Alrighty. So, what we need to focus on is to try to take out that flippin' artillery. That is gonna cause a very big pain for us. But now that we have a ton of cavalry, that should be alright. I think I'm gonna place two of you guys on the other side here. Maybe you can try and flank around them that way. But yeah, I feel like this is a good move actually doing this. But this is what happened. Your artillery. Yeah, no, 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 I don't need your flippin' advice. I'm a tactical genius, can't you see that? And that is not a good start. But it's fine, we can do this. They're moving up their cavalry over there. Wonder if I can sneak you guys over here. Maybe... You know what? How about you just suicide? Suicide over there. And you're gonna do that. It's to expect, no, I guess. Make great targets for the enemy to waste yeah, yo... Hey, I get it that you want to give me advice and such, but I am a genius. You don't need to give me advice when you are a tactical genius. Like, can't you see? I do great stuff here. I don't need your petty talk on here. You do not judge a man for his intellect. Let me see, you are probably gonna get shot before you can even make those guys route. Uh, let's see if we can help them by moving you guys over here. Oh, uh, and yeah, also, whichever general survives this, uh, yeah, you're gonna become the new general of this army here, because you, you are a very sorry excuse of a general, I'm not gonna lie. Even though you might be doing your best for the army, and you're just trying to make sure that everybody's happy, and everybody is mentally healthy. Sure, I get it, but you're 
not fit for that general, man. No, you're not fit for that role, man. Let's see what's happening here, okay. Oh, I didn't notice that pipe, man. That could be a problem. Oh, I'll make them route already. What do we have here? The place I'm lying if you do over there. Alright, guys, go over and suicide a little bit. You two take care of their general. And I guess you can just kill them, I guess. And there we go. You're making those around. And you can suicide into there, but not the pike man, of course. This is already going quite swell. We might actually have this in the bag. So, the goal of this video here, at least the first episode, is to try and knock out the Dutch as quickly as possible. Since they can recruit troops faster than, than we can do, so they are a classified major threat. So let's see, uh, what the hell are the pikemen doing? Just gonna go ahead and run up to the woods or something? Looks of it at least. At least you guys are taking care of them. And I'm just gonna place you guys over here. Once you guys get a bit tired, you have to just switch you guys out. Let me see, what can I do with you? I guess you can tear those guys over there. And I keep forgetting that you should take station up here. I don't want you to go against the pikemen because you're not gonna be very effective. Oh, then maybe I should gang up on the general. Yeah, you know what? Just gang up on him. We're in a war. Who the heck wanna play fair? You do tactics that makes you wanna win. It might, it might be the most degenerate way of doing it, but when you're playing, when you're doing war, you either play fair or unfairly. And if you ask me, doing tactics that might seem a bit uh, cheesy or uh, stupid, but it works. I don't see, I don't see you complaining. And they got the general, nice. Ganging up on that little shit really worked. And here, I need to make sure that I actually slaughter every single one of these guys, because I don't want any of you to survive this battle. If we can take care of you, then it's all Gucci. So let me see. Maybe I should, or maybe not. You're winded. Oh, wait, you're, one of you are active. Which one is active? It's you. I wonder if we can do something about you guys. You're, wait, you're active? Okay, you're moving out of there. All right. So what do we have here? We have we only lost two generals so far. Eh, suicide into it. What's the worst that can happen? Can I get stabbed with a long, huge ass stick? I mean, possibly, but eh, at least your horse will die. And also here's another funny thing. Um, how come when the horse die, the rider die as well? Is there like a soul bond that I don't get here? And there goes another general, but that's fine. But yeah, why the heck did the rider die when the horse die? Like, am I supposed to get that there's some, uh, like, intense soul bond between a rider and his horse? There is probably a message there. But yeah, but this battle is already won. So I think it's just gonna be a complete slaughter. Yeah, perfect. Just like that. Get those duchies out of my territory. You think you can go up and pick on the little guy, Dutchies? Nah, 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 nah. This, this little German is packed. And also, I want to take a note that I am not German. Also, I want to know another thing here. I don't know if it's just me, but... When you're playing this game, do you tend to get, like, semi-racist towards a particular nation? And I'm not talking about, like, real-life kind of racist. Like, virtually racist. Like, I don't hate Dutch. Like, you're cool. But you're going up and pulling an attack like that? That just makes me want to hate you. And that's not cool, Dutchies. That's not cool. But yeah. Yeah, they're, they're dead. That army is just completely dead, yeah? Dead. That's what you get for messing with me, chumps. So let's see. Which general should be suited to lead this army? I want to at least find one that actually have high morale, but it doesn't look like it. Besides this guy, you have two morales there. I think you will be suited to lead this army. You will be the most suitable, ma suitable candidate man for it. 
And with that, I don't think there's anything more that we can do but to try and replenish you guys, even though we didn't lose that many. And I think one more ca missile cavalry, maybe one pike, man. And uh, yeah, let's see what happens next. One other thing, I want to take Amsterdam so that we can actually research military technology. Because that's another disadvantage that we have as a minor nation. We don't start with a big ass city. But then again, I didn't. We're not a nation that starts with a big city. But, eh. Was that? Oh, hello there, Prussia. Man, the big powers want to trade with me and not attack me like the Dutch. You see, this is why the Frenchies and the Prussians are cool with us. They're, they're not like the Dutch. The Dutch are assholes. And again, don't take any offense to what I'm saying. I just virtually hate you, okay? Not real. Just virtually. I'm virtually racist right now. And look at this. Another general. And let me see. Uh, try to sabotage the school. Detective. But at least you're not dying like the first guy. And it really sucked that they just destroyed that building. Because researching... Like, improving the industry is a must here. Uh, let me see, I think we can get some wealth out of the farms. And yeah, this is gonna take some time for us to actually build up our army here. And so what do you have? Uh, an artillery and line infantry? Hmm. Once I can actually get my own infantry, you're fucked! You're bored and fucked there! You shouldn't have gone into this war here, Dutchies! You should not have done that. It's just suck that Austria just left me. No, my main bro, Wittenberg, they got my back. So I salute you, Wittenberg. At least you know when a bro is in need. Nice, nice. Yep, then again, we, there's not much we can do right now. Uh, maybe one more pike, man, and after that, we can start recruiting some line infantry and take you chumps down. And also, I want to apologize if there's going to be a lot of cuts in this video. It's just that during this turn phase, there is not very much I can talk about. Uh, there's not very much interesting going on in my life. I don't have any stories to tell. So, instead of just sitting here being quiet for like 20 seconds and then talking again, I feel like it's more suitable to actually cut than just being quiet. And here we go, finally. Oh really, you sabotaged it? But I didn't order to sabotage it, but that's cool, I guess. There we go, perfect. Hopefully that will slow them down a little bit. But there we go, finally, we got line infantries. Give me about, yeah, four, I think four and a, uh, maybe, hmm, four turns worth of line infantry. Hmm. I don't know, where the heck did... You know what, I think I'm just gonna place you outside here, because I don't like how the game is converting my units to a different type of unit. I don't need free militias! It's just stupid. And, I uh, need to upgrade it to the Royal Palace so we can get that beautiful tax income. That is when our economy is gonna boom. Because then we can actually take advantage of all the wealth that is in this region here. I mean, you look at that. That's sad. But once we get that 12% tax income, oh baby, we're gonna be running in money then. That improved Hanuma hostility, that's good. Real Gucci, I say. And let me see, uh, one of you guys got converted to line infantry. Maybe I don't need to wait, hmm. Okay, let me do that, and let me go... Yeah, missile cavalry, that should do it. Now let me see here, you're not recruiting that many men, which is good for me. And also, uh, if you're curious, I am currently using uh, the modification, which is the Minor Factions Revenge. Now, most people would say, why would you choose Darth Mod? And uh, yeah, that is a very clear uh, argument to do that, but I feel like I like this modification more as... You, get, you can get to play as the pirates. The pirates becomes an actual playable faction. You don't need to do... There's nothing about the ships anymore. They actually have custom 
uh, land units. And if you actually want to play as the pirates, and I've always wanted to do that, and you say, screw, screw you to all the rest of the nations in the world, play as the pirates. It's a really fun to do that, not to mention challenging, because you can't negotiate with the other nations, and you're, in war, you're at war with everyone. And that's what makes it so much fun. And that's another reason I want to say is that you don't see these guys in Darth Maul. At least I didn't see these guys when I was trying out Darth Maul. And these guys, they are basically a berserker unit. Just look at that melee defense, the morale. Like, they're absolute beasts of a unit. But thankfully, you can only recruit two of them at a time. So at least I can thank the mod creator for balancing out, balancing out that, because drummer dudes, yeah, those are the dudes that you should stay away from, because, yeah, they're not that friendly. Is there a peace treaty with the barbarian state? No, because you're gonna take all of my money, you greedy bastards. That, and we have another rake. Now, the next target that I usually go for is either uh, trying to take uh, Spain's f uh, Flanders, Spanish Flanders, and then move on to Paris. So I think I'm actually going to place you over there, because I have enough uh, cool. a control so I can actually see how much uh, Spain I'm going to recruit here. And I'm very surprised that the Dutch hasn't taken this yet. Are you too focused on me or something? Like, like am I am I like, like a pretty target for you or something? No, damn it. Man, Duchess, you uh, you need to chill. Like I'm I'm happily taken, so I don't need any of your little. I don't need any of your sass right now. Where the heck did you come from? Yeah, you know what? Just g just give me my freaking infantry so we can just end this already. We're gonna have a fun battle, and the Duchies are gonna cry about it. Uh. Frenchie, why would you do that? I thought we were cool. But then again, they might have overheard me about taking Paris, so yeah. And of course, Hanover is not gonna join in. Well, this is a pickle. Um. Wait, what? What? Well, thanks, game. That is really nice. You see that right there? I sometimes hate this game when that kind of shenanigans happens. Like, what the fuck is up when just randomly taking a, uh, taking a region that is mine? Like, you were not even in here! Like, why the heck does the game decide that, you know what? They should have taken that region by now. I'm just gonna automatic automatically do that. And what? And apparently France didn't decide to declare war on me that time. Strange. But good. A good kind of strange. Alright. Okay, ally attacked. Aggressive Sweden, Hanover. Yeah, I'll join in with you, Hanover. See, I got your back this time. But hopefully you will have my back the next time I get attacked. By France, perhaps. Let me see. We have a lot of infantry right now. We can actually besiege... Uh... The United Provinces right now, and I think I'm gonna do that right now before they can recruit too many units here. We should be fine. At least I think so, but I am not assaulting them. Not, <laughs> not with this little man right here. But I think this might be the good move to do here. And I am pretty sure you are gonna pick me here. I have to deal with your artillery. I think I'm gonna place you guys nearby. Yeah, that should be fine. And hopefully, France, I'm gonna ask you very politely to um, leave me alone. I haven't done anything to your Frenchies. It's only the Dutchies that I want here. Okay? Like, I don't wanna fuck with you right now. I'm gonna do that later. So, um, yeah, wait for your turn. Yeah, to be expected. And they... Oh, okay, so we don't need to deal with the artilleries. 
but I'm also going to see that you might see a change here with the defense that the city has. You have citizen militias and pikemen. Now here's the thing. I was very surprised the first time when I saw that when I was trying out the mod, and this is one of the reasons why I love this modification as well. It makes it so that when you're defending a city and you don't really have that many troops, these guys might fill in this role. And the citizen militias, they're basically regular militias, but not as many men. We still have the, uh, the armed citizenry, but the great addition is the pikemen. But they are worse than regular pikemen. And then, when, enough with that said, uh, let's go ahead and see if we, we can win this battle. Alright, this might actually be tough. Because I am really afraid of the drummer dudes. Not to mention, um, I may have done a slight mistake just bringing mostly infantry units. But we, we should be relatively fine. We just need to make a big ass line. I don't know what the heck to do about you. You can be in the woods, I guess. And now we wait. Oh, I see. You're gonna come from the left. And just like that, problem solved. Let me see. Where exactly are you coming from? Are you coming from? Oh, you're coming from the woods. All right. All right. Let's see how this turns out. It's not gonna be pretty it's not gonna be easy but we got this I'm confident in you guys I may sound concerned because I really don't know if we're actually gonna win this or not hmm no that's not gonna happen you guys are not as strong as those guys and let me see. Oh, you're sitting in your general like that? Very bravish. Not to mention stupid. Dude, what are you guys? You're moving in there. Oh, 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 oh. Let me see. Can I do this real quick? May not be able to, but at least I'll keep him occupied. Yeah, this was a good idea. I mean, I don't know about you. I thought this was a good idea. And what the hell are you guys? I told you to take... I told you guys to take cover. I don't want anyone to rebel this early on. And here we go, now they're engaging with us. Now, this is going to be very hard to do. Not to mention that these Rumbadoos are gonna be, uh, be a real problem for me. Because if you saw the stats of them... Oh boy, they don't really mess up, and I should not have done that because those are pikemans. Should be okay. Just please don't route so early. And there comes the rest of the drum dudes. Oh boy! Let me see how. And you're doing okay. At least you're not dying all the way. And you decide to put your pipe over there. Shit. But at least I can admire the Dutchies for fighting back here. Makes it a bit more fun. But it's gonna become challenging. Let me see, and you're gonna take them from behind. Cheeky. Are you just gonna- are you just gonna rush me or something? Is this your plan? You're just rushing me! You're just rushing me at this point! And also, don't engage in melee, just shoot the bastards! Did you shoot those Dutchy bastards? And again, I can't stress this enough, I don't hate the Dutch. I just virtually racist torture right now. See, and you're winning decisively. Yeah, this is why I don't like you guys. I really don't like the, the drama dudes. See, are you mean you're winning slightly? That's good. See what's happening? Like you keep rushing me! Stop rushing me so much! Let me see if I can do some work with the the cavalry here. Let's see, are you actually firing at these guys? Not by the looks of it, at least. But it would be lovely, you could. Or, uh, I guess, just do your own thing, I guess. The pikeman is over there. Shit. But, uh, it, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's still under control. The most of them I'm actually uh, routing right now, which is good. You guys can move over there, so you're in a better position. You guys go over here, try to get with that guy over there. 
Let's see, how's the militias doing? The militia is doing actually fine. Good. I guess it was a good idea to put you behind her anyway. You see, if these guys survive and actually earn an experience, I think I'm actually gonna personally bring a militia into battle. Now, a more suitable person would say that that would be the most stupidest thing ever. But hey, if a game allows you to bring a weak unit into battle, I'll freaking do that! Let me see, what do we have here? Why are you running away? Are you trying to go after my cavalry? Oh yeah, they're definitely going after my cavalry, alright. See, what's happening to you guys? Keep firing at them! Let's see what's happening here. And you know, it might be a better idea if you uh, engage with these guys. Well, maybe I should use my general a little bit. It should be safe for him. I think... Nah, 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 that's not safe. I don't want to lose this guy. Let's see. Uh, focus on that guy over there. You guys need to focus on this guy over here. And also, if there are a little bit of a few lags in here, I have to apologize that. But then again, I don't have a very beefy supercomputer. Which I... It would be lovely. And when you're playing a game like that, that would be absolutely perfect. And I can't really play with the larger unit size because of all the dead corpses and everywhere. That overloads my computer a bit too much. God damn it, you have done nothing! You just keep rushing me! Come on, Dutchies! Like, stop rushing me like that! Like, what, what kind of CSGO tactics are you going for here? I don't see any A's, I don't see any B's. What the hell is this? Let's see what's happening here. You're, oh, you're actually killing them, that's good. Where is the... Damn, but you really... Ah. Oh. Well, at least you're keeping them busy. See, I wonder, is there anyone you can attack here? I guess you can go over for those guys. Now, let's see if we can deal with you guys. The militias are doing our... Why are you positioned like that? No, 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 that's not okay. You can't position yourself like that. That's stupid. But then again, when the commander is stupid, the troops are stupid. Let's see what's happening to you guys. Man, this, is, this has been nothing but the duchy just rushing me. Not uh, the battle that I was looking for here, if you ask me. But at least we're holding up strong. I can only thank for our general for having two extra morale. The, oh, I thought I said I could the general for a second there. We're still doing fine. We haven't lost too many units so far, which is great. So this is all Gucci Gucci. You see, you're fresh. Uh, I'm trying to think here. Get those guys. You can focus on these guys over there. See, army losses? No, not yet. Oh, yes, we have the drama dudes to deal with. But yeah, those drama dudes are really, really not a fun unit to go up against. Even though, yeah, 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 it's a melee unit, you can just shoot the heck out of them. But damn, every time when I try to do that, <laughs> uh, my unit, or that particular unit that are getting assaulted by them, yeah, they just get slaughtered by them. And it doesn't help when two of them are ganging up on the same unit. And just like that, that's it. I don't think I can slaughter every single one of them, so I think I'm just gonna end the battle here. But... Next turn, we're taking Amsterdam. I'm sorry, Duchies, but you picked the wrong fight here. You should have chosen your fights a bit more uh, carefully. Alrighty then. Moment of truth here. I'm pretty sure once I take Amsterdam, Spain is not going to be happy with me. But heck it all to hell. Boom! And you're gone! And with that said, I think I'm actually gonna end the first episode right here. This is a really good start for us, now that we actually have 
uh, Amsterdam, we can research our military technologies and hopefully nothing bad will happen. And Franz, I'm watching you. Yeah, I got your number. You better not pull a sneaky on me here. I'm gonna let you guys be in charge of here. But anyway, uh, like and favor if you enjoyed this, and maybe consider subscribing if you want to. Like, I'm not forcing you. You have a choice here. Or do you? <laughs> but anyway, I'm the small GT, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.